welcome back and thanks for taking the time to join me. Um, I'm going to tie you a wee Canadian uh, fly called the uh, Autumn Flash. Now the hook and the vise is a size 2. Uh, I'm led to believe I've had these hooks sent to me by a good friend. Um, so they're a good heavy wire hook. I mean the wire in them is absolutely solid. But this is a, a size 2. Now the thread that I'm going to use to tie the fly is uni thread 801 weight just to keep the butt and the body nice and bright and then we'll change over to a, a black thread once we get to the top and I'm just going to catch in my thread just until I come down over where the, the form of the eye now the tag and the rib of the fly is a oval silver tinsel and I'm going to use a size 14 this is the Vanyard French oval so I'm just going to Get a good length off. What's going to do is for the, the whole pattern. I'm just going to catch this in on the side of the hook. And then I'm just going to work my thread down open turns. Nice and tight. Just until my thread's in line with the, the barb. And then I'm going to work my thread back up. Just until I'm a mill shy of the, the point then I'm going to come around with six turns of the oval silver tinsel it's the first part of the tag and we'll just catch this in nice and tight just be careful of that point of your hook just want to make sure it's well tied in because this is a fishing fly trim away the excess. The next part is orange floss now. I'm just going to catch this in first this bit. I'll bring this over as a bit of protection. And this the orange floss that I'm using is the uni uni floss and light orange. It's the longer bit in. Now I'm just going to work these down tight up against the oval silver tinsel tag. take the floss I'm just going to work this up to meet my thread and there apply this across a couple of tight turns will secure bring this bit over this just helps the just a, an out of wee bit of, of protection for the floss now what you could do is you just tie off and then you know just put on some UV resin but I think at times the UV resin takes the colour out I just want to show you the pattern originally if you like now the tail is a golden pheasant crest feather and this one that I'm going to use here has been dyed a fluorescent yellow so I'm just going to offer this up to the hook with a couple of turns uh, you just want to get your length you want the just, I just like to see the, the tip of the crest feather just coming past just slightly past the bend is a nice length for me uh, I'm just going to run my thread up a bit you just come back down now, forget about this bit at the minute you can trim that away if you wish but you can see how the twist has went into this bit why the tail has set stayed straight now we're going to put on some peacock hurl or sorry ostrich hurl here in front of the tail this is ostrich hurl and dyed black I'm just going to catch that in and then we're just going to wind this up just like a wee hackle just one turn in front of the other Back, just slip there. Just go back, and I'm looking four or five turns. And just follow this around with your thread. Right. Just going to keep it in on the hook. I'm going to tighten up, bringing the thread up, break away the 
access of the ostrich hurl. I'll come in and trim this. Just slightly less the length of the body. This is just to make the fly strong and to try and keep the body as level as we can. I'm going to work my thread right up to where that eye is formed on the hook. We're looking in good shape. A couple of wee fibers here. Just take those away. Way back there, I'm going to catch in a rib, which is the same oval silver tinsel that I used for the tag. Size 14. Just catch that in on the side. Down any wee fibers of the ostrich hurls, folding back. Nice and tight. Now the first rear show of the body is orange uh, crystal flash. Now this is the micro crystal flash that I'm going to use. But you can use the original stuff if you wish. I'm going to pull that, pull that into length. And really tighten up onto it here. Now you could also put some super glue on. If you wish. Just before you wind this up. A bit of moisture just on the ostrich hurl. Then we're going to bring around the flash. Much like you would do with the tinsel, just touching turns, nice and tight, with the flash up the first half of the body. Tie that around with my thread. I don't throw this out because this flash, that made me bits of flash, because they'll do another fly. You know, work for you for another wee pattern. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. The next part of the body is going to be the new floss and hat orange. So just take a good length off. You don't want to leave yourself short once we get to the top. Just going to catch that in. Pull this in. And then work our thread up. Nice and tight with the, the thread turns. I like my flies to the last more than one salmon. Now I'm just going to come round, just get a nice clean turn onto the, jo the, the joining of the two bodies and then you're just looking overlapping turns of the hot orange floss to create your body. Nice and tight. Follow this around with my thread. A couple of tight turns come in and trim away the excess then we can bring up our rib and we're looking five turns or so of the oval silver tinsel up the body well spaced out come in catch that off nice and tight come in and trim away the excess of the oval silver tinsel yeah, just want to bring that out just want just to be able to, to see the wee pattern you know now you could, could make that tail a wee bit longer, if you wish, but that's just the way I like it. Now, the wing is going to be grey squirrel tail, dyed black. Some here in the stagger. And you can have the wing as long or short as you like. It's entirely up to you. Now, I'm just going to have my wing just coming back past the oval silver tinsel tag. I'm just going to come in, just hold it here with my finger and thumb, come round with a pinch and loop. Nice tight turns now, thread to catch in your, your wing. Then I'm going to come in, lift the excess squirrel, I'll trim away the excess. A couple of wee favours there, we missed. We'll just come back and take those away, no big deal. Now, the squirrel has a tendency to pull out, so. I'm going to come in and put a wee lick of super glue on my thread and then I'm just going to take this down over the cut ends of the squirrel nice and tight. Now on the original pattern 
it doesn't have a flash in the wing but I've got some of the orange flash that we used for the body so I'm just going to take two strands out I'm just going to offer these up into the up into the wing a couple of turns of catch them I'm going to fold them back keeping a hold of the smaller pieces of excess trim those away uh, the flash is just too long so I'm just going to come in about the length of the wing I like it we're not looking too bad. Now I'm going to change over to a Uni 380 on black just to finish off the, the fly. So I'm just going to come in with my black thread and just tie up over the top of the white. Then I'm going to come in and trim away the white tying thread on the waist piece of black. Now the front tackle is a, an orange grizzle. Harrow. This is a hen harrow that I'm going to use. So I've got a nice haggle, one of the larger ones from the, the top of the cape. You, like I use these here, the, the smaller fellers on that cape to tie my, my Irish stay lock flies. Now I'm just going to come in and catch two turns, going to fold the tip back. Then break away the tip. Now, I'm just going to come in with my scissors, just run it up the stem. That'll help your fibers to sort of way start the process of sitting back for you. They'll not sit fully back, but it starts it for you. And I'm just looking two turns of this grizzle haggle. To there, that's going to be plenty for me. And I'm just going to follow this around with my thread. And just get a couple of tight turns in just to catch in our haggle. Then I'm going to come in and trim away the stem. At this point, just come in and anything that wants to go forward, just fold it back. I'm going to bring my thread down towards the eye and back up. Now, at this point, that's the original pattern. So, just whip finish, and that's the fly complete. But, I'm going to put on a couple of jungle cock eyes because I think the wee fly suits the, the jungle cock so just got two of the sort of way bigger eyes with ten, um, some of the older Irish traditional patterns earlier on the assassin and the Wilkinson's on the blind eyes so I've had these laying about so I'm just going to offer this up to the hook just hold them onto the hook these are just loose turns, just to see what way we're, we're sitting. Just check my length. So we check at the length. Yep. Okay, I'm happy enough with that. Now, just want to tighten up. Then I want to fold the stems back. This flies for fishing, it's not for show. Then I'm just going to tighten up over the, the top of the jungle cock. So you want the fly to last, nice and tight here with the thread turns by the way, keeping the thread tight. I'm going to come in and break away the stems now. They didn't come off properly but that's okay, we'll trim that in a minute. I'm just going to come in and throw in a whip finish. Nice and tight. Then I'm going to come in and trim away the tail thread and come in and take away the these stems that didn't break off of the jungle cock. Just get a nice clean cup. Put down tight. And there you go guys. That's the the autumn flash. It's a wee Canadian fly. Now I'm just going to come in and put on some super glue onto the head. Just to seal up the thread turns. I'm sorry if you can hear a helicopter in relation to background noise. I live up the the mountains here in Belfast and sometimes the helicopters and planes will come back and forward as they, they go to the international airport. Now, once that super glue dries I'll come in and hit that with a couple of coats of varnish 
just to seal everything up. But there you go guys, that's a pretty wee fly. Um, I think in smaller sizes and I'm going to tie using this, some of the same colour combinations here. I'm going to tie one for, for the Dalgan. I think that'd be a good fly for Dalgan and sea trout as well. So look guys, tie a few of those up. Hopefully they can catch you a few fish. As always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. I really do appreciate it. And until next time guys, please stay safe and take lines.